Hey guys, I'm in Brando 5 here again. Sorry to keep beating the dead horse on this Corsair, but I was really curious after I had uh, disposed of the rest of it, I took it to an electronics recycler to properly dispose of it. Um, also, I forgot to mention, be careful when you're disassembling power supplies. They do still carry current and you can shock yourself and potentially seriously harm, so I don't recommend anyone disassembles those. I actually I almost gave myself a little shock. Um, I noticed a little arc when I was, you know, putting in the trash can as there was some metal, you know, steel in there and I saw it arc a little bit and I was like, oh man, you know, that wasn't even the part that needed to be recycled. Uh, it was just some random components. Uh, so all the capacitors and whatnot were taken to the electronics recycler. But um, I decided to take this fan apart because I was really curious to see if this was really where that issue was coming from. And I, you know, pulled off the sticker that was, you know, on the other side that was blocking everything. And I couldn't see anything back there. But I popped off this fan and it was pretty loose. It didn't take much effort. And I was like, okay, let's look in here. Eh, it looks like a pretty standard setup. You know, nothing really in there. And then look here. Now, I don't know if you can immediately tell what is wrong, but part of this disc right here is missing. It's cracked, and you might say, but wait, Emin Breno 5, it's supposed to look like that. That's probably just, you know, you know how they fit it. Well, here are the parts that have broken off, and these are actually magnetic bits. See, they don't fall out. Um, this is a whole magnetic ring that's part of this sleeve that uh, drives this. This is what, you know, causes this fan to spin. So I'm imagining that could have thrown the fan off. I mean, even it wasn't super loud all the time. Occasionally it was. So I'm sure the bearings that are in here are trash anyway. And uh, uh, that's all schmooed up. But yeah, this thing was trash. And I didn't uh, take it apart correctly. I did just snap it off because I wanted to see what was in here because I could hear something rattling when I shook it. And I'm thinking it's these chunks being chased around in here because I mean, those just come right out and they look like they're cracked. So again, another negative issue for the sleeve types that use these magnets that are real cheap. And uh, Corsair build quality was obviously not the highest on this day. Uh, whoever assembled this one kind of rushed it and ended up breaking off part. So, or I mean, this could this might not even be Corsair. This might be whatever fan company they bought this fan from. I'm sure they don't build their own fans, but again, no markings. So we have no idea anything about this fan. It's a complete enigma. Um, I don't know if I'll disassemble this any further. I, I don't think it's that interesting to look at really some low grade copper in here that's you know, using bearings to spin. Uh, okay, uh, that is it for the coarse hair. I promise I won't be doing any more videos on their products anytime soon. I would like to, you know, explain though that coarse hair's higher level stuff um, is much better in build quality. I've seen those taken apart before and they are much better than this thing. It's only the bottom tier power supplies, those things that are in tier five or six or untiered that uh, could potentially be an issue, which can easily be found out by looking at reviews and seeing what people are saying about these products. All right, guys, I am done with Corsair and may I never have another bottom tier Corsair to ever deal with. MN Breno 5, via con Dios, amigos.